Hello, it is me, TKLJOY, from Nematish, and welcome back, guys, to another video. We're in today's video, guys, we are back with Miss Survival. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. As you can see, our leg is healed, because you guys remember in the last episode, we had uh, quite a few issues, actually. But now we should be okay. We do have a few things. I didn't really get any comments on uh, what this is over here. But that's okay. We'll ha I'll I forgot to look into it, but I'll have to do that later. But right now, we have. I think there's a zombie in here. I think. No. Maybe there's not. Okay. Actually, no, there's zombies up there, definitely. So, what we're going to do is, before we go up there, we're going to save the game. There's definitely gotta be zombies in here, right? No? Okay. I'm gonna close that. I guess we're just going to continue looting the place. Charcoal. Wood scraps. Okay. Other than that, that's, that's about it. So, there's like a slight bug that I've started noticing with this. Um, my bed, like, disappears sometimes. It's kind of weird. So, I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, see, it's right here. We have, like... We need a screwdriver and two batteries. And then you need to enter a passcode. So, I wonder if the passcode is over here with the other zombies. So... Yeah, right in here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to open this, look around. Have we already been in here? I don't quite remember. No, they're definitely up there. Okay, they're up there. Yeah, so they're up there. What we need to do is do this stealthily enough. Non... Nom? Okay. Xeon. What we need to do... Do this very carefully. So, there's two of them in there. What we need to do is do this. Thing is... So these guys won't go out in the sunlight. You know what? I think what we're going to do, we're going to go grab our gun. This is very intense. Because we can die. Uh, where's our gun at? I still need to get used to where I put everything. Okay, our gun's right here. Um, okay. We do have the ammo. Let's... Let's put the painkillers... In four. Nice. And then reload. Alright. We don't have much ammo. But it's all we got. Whew. Okay. One. What? Dang it. Hey, okay, we did it. Okay. Um, that was very difficult. Military component box. That's nice. What's that? It's a potato. It's raw, which is fine. I already have boots, so let's put those in there. 
Got a baseball bat. Ooh, got a pair of batteries. What else we got in here? Not much. I was expecting a little more. But well, that's okay. What we'll do is we're bleeding a little bit, actually. So we need treatment. Okay. So I need to... Okay, yeah, so we're bleeding. Uh, it's been a while since I played this. Uh, what is it? It's not B. Is it I? Yeah, it's I. Uh, status? Yes, yeah, so we're bleeding right here. Uh, we need a bandage, so... Cooking items... No... Where do I make those? Yeah, here it is. Bandage. I need booze. Dang it. What am I supposed to do to stop the bleeding? I don't have any bandages. Dang it. It needs treatment, otherwise... Yeah, our health is just going to keep going down until we die. So... There must be something we can do. Right? Probably not, honestly. Okay, so charcoals, kind of weird, firewood. Alright, so I'm gonna sort out our inventory and hopefully try and figure out what to do with our leg and I'll be back. There we go. Okay, now that we uh, finally have our inventory sorted out, all empty, we can actually uh, go and do the stuff. Anyway, so. What we just did is we finally got to loot this place, so now this place should be clear for a little while. Now, with this, I'm gonna, I need a screwdriver. I forgot about that. Okay, so we need to find a screwdriver. We also need to figure out how to use the crowbar eventually, because that crowbar can open permanently closed doors. Now, I'm not sure if that's a function yet. I'm just going to actually throw these in here because there's no space in the other part. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save before leaving because we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure. And if things go wrong, I would like to just be able to come back. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I was also informed that um, we can't actually drive these cars. All we can really do is just um, grab parts off of them. So actually, I forgot to check. Were there any parts in there? No. Okay. Um. Doesn't look like there's anything good here. No, nope, nothing. All right. So it's a lake over there. We're just gonna start heading down the road. Our leg is still severely wounded, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Um, let's see. There's what's this? Examine. Nine seven three zero. That's the code. Okay. Well, we have the code now. Actually, let's uh, take a real quick screenshot of that. Um, what just what just happened? Okay. We're gonna take a screenshot of that. So nine seven three zero. Okay. Now we just need to find the screwdriver, and then we're in. Like, it's easier said than done. What time is it? It's, um, I don't know. A little dangerous. What's that? It's a leaf. There are bandits over there. Okay. We're gonna have to be quiet. There are bandits over there. Um, okay. 
Not sure how we're gonna go about this. All we have is our knife and an axe. So if things go wrong, well, it's just how it is. Okay, so we need to kind of just sneak around, try and look in as much as we can find a good infiltration point and then hopefully we'll be able to enter right now i'm not seeing a good infiltration point it's turning nighttime right now hmm there's got to be another entrance to this place okay now we're going to save here because, yeah, there's definitely a guy right there. Okay. <laughs> Dead. I knew it. Okay. Okay. We ch I finally killed the guy, and we have his M4 rifle. Only thing is... Is now we're, we're in a little bit of an issue. The fact that that guy patrols this same area. So there might be a way. Where's the other guy? Like I said, there might be a way. What we're going to do is we're going to come back here. Hope there's no one back here. Okay, there isn't. Good. All right, we're going to try and do this from the inside. Not sure how well this is going to go, but we're going to try. Now, I think there's there was 3 of them. Now I think there's only 2 left. So, we're kind of just going to sneak around as much as we can. And find a good point to take him on. Okay, so as you can see, he moves to there. He stays there for... Yeah, he stays there for only a few seconds. And then leaves. So we don't have very long to get inside. How long does he stay there? He only stays there for a few seconds as well. Hmm. So this would have to be really quick, honestly. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Okay, we're going to save right here. So then he takes that diagonal path. So what we need to do is we need... Oh, crap. We're dehydrated. Uh, good thing I just picked this up. Perfect. Did he change his path? Oh, perfect. Go, 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 go. Dang it. We were close. Okay, just respawned. And yeah, so that's the thing, is that there's now two of them. Which is now even more of an issue. Hope he doesn't see me. Nope, he definitely sees me. Okay, finally in a safe place. Jeez, okay. Drink that. How was that? That's better, okay. We're gonna save here because this is a safe place. And then we're kinda gonna monitor these guys' patterns. So you guys both go over there? Huh. Oops. Don't wanna be seen. Like how actually I might be able to stagger them. Because as you can see, they kinda look for you for a little bit. 
Actually, no, I know what I can do. We're going to go from the back again. Or, well, I guess it's not really the back. It's still kind of the front. But anyway, I want to get back, back there in that area. Because then I'll be able to take out one of them, and then I'll be able to take out the other soon after. All I need to do is just stagger their um, spawn a little bit. Or not spawn, but stagger their, um, their movement. There you go. That's the word for it. Turning nighttime. So it's definitely dangerous. But we do have their gun. It's just... I don't have any ammo for it, otherwise that's how I would take these guys out, preferably. Because doing this silently doesn't always go well. Okay. Perfect. So far, so good. Okay. Now we've made it back here. Okay. Nope. Alright, okay, and that's another one dead. So we got him killed. One last one. Whew, this has been really difficult. So the thing is, since there's only one last one, we just gotta figure out his patterns. Okay, he's coming over here. Okay, so what does he do? Okay, so he stands right there. I wonder if he will ever come back here. No, I think he just... Yeah, he goes diagonally. Yeah, so he goes in like a triangle, I do believe. So to catch him... How would we do that? So we'd have to sneak up on him from there. Okay. Yeah, I think I get it. So he's coming over here. Unless there's another way. Okay, where, where else does he do? He stands right there, but not for long. Then he switches back over there. Okay. Yeah. So what we need to do is... Go over here and get him from this side. We'll have to wait till he gets back here, of course, but because he will stand It's actually turning nighttime, so it should be a lot easier. Okay, so he's right there right now. And he's gonna go to there. I'm gonna actually save right here. Sorry for all like the continuously saving and stuff like that. I just don't really want to mess this up. Okay. Then he goes there. Hey, what's he doing? Is he changing his pattern? Just... Kind of changed his pattern a little bit. Not sure why he would do that. Yeah, he kind of changed his pattern just a little bit. Okay. okay then he's going to go over here. I don't really want him to notice me, though. Did he notice me? Did he? I don't think he did. Weird. He's doing his pattern weird now. <clears> hmm. <throat> There's gotta be a way to get him. Sorry if I'm whispering, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Um nope, 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 nope. I just don't think he goes over far enough. Alright, so maybe what we'll do. Cause it's getting a little more nighttime, so 
going to be harder for him to see us. It's nighttime. So we're going to save again. And we're going to try and get him, but no guarantees. Come on. Dang it. Okay. So finally got out of that position. Okay, so he's going to go over here now. We just can't let him see us. No way. Nope. Knew it. Whew, okay, we did it. He's dead. Okay, where's his gun? Where's his gun at? Did he not have a gun? Um I guess he didn't. Okay, awesome. Now we can go in here. And get the lovely loots. Unlock using a lockpick or unlock using crowbar. Huh. That's interesting. So that's what we can use the crowbar for. We can actually upgrade our inventory now. Here we go. Um, anything else? What else we got in here? Not really anything special in here. Got some of this. We'll have to come back with the crowbar. Lockpick. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back here using the crowbar because I'm assuming there's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, the only issue is, is that it's nighttime. So it's definitely not a good idea to come outside. I don't really have the materials to make a bed. So, we're honestly just going to have to wait out the night and wait till morning. But that will have to wait till the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!